This is garlic? <laughs> what? We're slaying vampires today, Albert. Oh my gosh, yeah. Do you actually know what we're doing today? Uh, making some kind of salad dressing? Wrong. Ah. Well, although, aha, ah. not too far off. Okay. We're going to make organic insecticidal soap. Oh, so obviously all natural ingredients and that sort of uh, touchy-feely kind exactly. of thing. Exactly. Nice. So what I'm going to get you to do is I'm going to get you to start pulling apart this garlic okay. and putting it into this jug. So you can take that. So just a little piece, like into yeah, the segments? each clove. Yep. Do and you have to crush them or anything or just throw them in? Just throw them in. Okay. Now, what you're doing here is you're actually separating the garlic so it starts working into the water a little right. bit faster. Okay. What you really want to look for is the oldest garlic you can find at a grocery store or anywhere. Yeah. So it might be on sale or something like that because it's been sitting around it's for a while sitting or sitting in the bottom of your vegetable crisper, crisper your stuff. rotter in your fridge. So don't don't throw it away. No. Throw it in a bucket of water. Throw it in a clear bucket of water. Now clear. this is really important. Now we're going to throw about 12 cloves of garlic. So keep going. Throw okay. lots in there. Just get it all in. Skins and everything. It doesn't matter. Really? Yep. All right. So here's what's going on. Okay. You're adding the garlic to the water. Right. The water will start absorbing the garlic. Mm -hmm. The Makes reason sense. you want to use a clear container is you're going to leave this outside for a few weeks. Like the in, the, in the sun? In the sun. Okay. The sun is going to help percolate the garlic in the water and really infuse it. You are going to make this the strongest stinkiest water you could possibly imagine. Oh, wow. Okay? okay. The reason you're doing that and you're just using garlic is because you're going to spray this directly on the plants. Okay. So, so when you said salad dressing? Yeah. Yes. Kind of. Kind of like it is. Yeah, I guess in a way, yes. Yeah. The garlic is going to coat the leaves. The insects don't like it. Rabbits don't like it. Yeah. Ooh. Raccoons don't like it. If you have problems, this is a great solution for all of them. So once this is steeped, because right. you're basically making a garlic tea, tea, for two weeks in the sun, you're going to actually fill it into a spray bottle. Oh, now, okay. Couple of things. Make sure that you take out all the leaves at that point. You just want the clear liquid in the spray bottle. Because the stuff will jam up the nozzle. Yeah, exactly. Hey, See, I'm not stupid. I'm that. just naive. Mmm, smells nice. Garlic. <laughs> it smells I, like, like, I like garlic. Italian restaurant. We just put it in and yeah. it's already got already a strong smell. smell. Yeah. So think about what the rabbits are going to smell or the raccoons. Mm -hmm. You can keep this mixture in the water bottle right. until you've completely used it up. So you don't have to use it all at once. You can keep the water bottle And it won't handy. spoil or anything. It actually just gets stronger. Exactly. And then every time it, you get a heavy rain, if you've got specialty plants that some of the rabbits are targeting in your vegetable garden, right. just spray it with the garlic. Would this work like on uh, dogs or cats too? Would they keep them away if they want to dig it up? Unfortunately, no. Uh, well. But I do have another one for you another day. Oh, well, cool. Well, this was easy, and I'm sure the next one will be too. And uh, if you run out of plants, you can always uh, use it to keep away vampires. There you go. Easy.